My name is Doreen Stratton, and I'm a member of Citizen to Citizen. Our sole purpose is to help registered voters obtain their photo ID so they are able to vote in the November presidential election. We're here at the House of Decision, as you can see. This is where General George Washington planned the surprise attack across the Delaware. He didn't want to lose an army, and we do not want to lose 25,000 Bucks County registered voters. Good morning, everyone. Uh, what the NAACP has been doing recently as far as voter registration and voter ID, we've been informing our community on what it takes to get your voter ID. Some places uh, we've experienced concerns from our elderly uh, birth certificates that don't have raised seals. So we've been instructing them on what they need to do to get past this point. My belief in this country is that when you try to stack the deck against people, people galvanize. That energizes us. So when you try to stop us, all that does is give us more motivation to do what we need to do. Uh, what the NAAC has been doing, going to retirement homes, uh, supermarkets, and door to door. You have to knock door to door. You have to. I'm an organizer with Penn Action. We're a progressive issues advocacy group. Around the issue of photo ID, we've been doing mostly uh, phone banking in the county, and we've also participated in phone banking statewide. And we've been using uh, lists that we've generated in lists that have um, included the Penn dot. Um, Board of Elections cross match, State Department cross match list, so people that are, we think, most at risk for not having the ID they need on November 6th. So those are the lists we've been working off of. We have three things that are working against us that we found. We found these three challenges. Uh, one challenge is the list. The list is, is by its nature going to be difficult to, um, to work with because you're going to have a lot of people who have moved. You're going to have a lot of people who have disconnected their phones. You're going to have a lot of people who simply are not going to answer the phones because we live in the age of telemarketing and people screen their calls. And if they don't recognize the number, rightly, they don't answer the call. And so our contact rate hasn't been, you know, 100%, which is, of course, what we'd want it to be. We want to talk to everybody on our list. So that's one challenge, one set of challenges. Another challenge is time. We're IDing people. But we, so you get the call on, say, June 2nd, we, um, July 2nd. We started doing our calling on July 2nd. Uh, really, July 2nd is not that far away from the election if you need to get your birth certificate in order. And uh, remember, the, the requirements, and this is the third challenge, the requirements keep changing. Uh, now we have a third type of ID. It used to be driver's license and state ID only. Then it used to be a different set of requirements to get the state ID. We welcome all these changes, but it makes it confusing for people. And now there's a third ID, right, that you can get. And we don't, even, we don't really understand that completely either. Um, and so it's, it's very difficult to tell people on the phone what they need to do when the rules keep changing. Hi, my name is Ivan Weinger. I'm a resident of Bucks County, and I'm also a member of Citizen and Citizen. And I've uh, taken on the responsibility of contacting human service agencies. Uh, I've been through a number in uh, uh, Langhorne, Levittown, Bristol, and we're going to continue working on that. And the idea behind that is to uh, visit all these agencies where there are a lot of people who need services, and many of them uh, do not have driver's license. The elderly, uh, the uh, dispossessed, homeless, uh, so this is a place where they come and uh, require transportation very often to get there. So I'm going out with flyers such as these, uh, which gives the uh, a phone number and a website you can contact. Uh, so this is, uh, this is the Bucks County uh, operation. It's a Bucks photo ID at gmail.com. And the phone number is 215 230 Three five seven nine. So it, it's very important, and it's been said before, uh, we need hundreds of more volunteers. We really do, because there's so little time left before the election. So I would really encourage everyone in Bucks County to come on out, call this phone number, and we're we're waiting to hear from you. Th thank you.